Hi everyone and welcome to Stephanie Pettis in the Rolling Studio. How have you been? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you've spent great time with your family and I uh, hope you've been on a kneeling knee and praying and for our country and everyone out there with COVID and to put a armor of protection around your family as well as your friends and loved ones and we are also to pr uh, pray for our enemies so uh, remember this is all a spiritual battle this is a, a battle uh, beyond the flesh so just with that being said I'll continue on but that's just where I stand and and I think that we really need to think about that so keep your hearts open and and you know suppress the hate and ask for Jesus to intervene in our country and uh, and anyways I hope you all are having a great day so I am here I'm, I've already had my work shift going and I've had some product that I've needed to haul but I haven't had an opportunity. It's just work, 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 go home, busy, busy, busy. Um, got to play a little bit at home, and I'll try to show that in the next video. Uh, I might give you a sneak peek, I don't know. But I right now, I want to go through some of my hauls. Uh, this is for sure a Daiso haul, but I also have some Michaels and Hobby Lobby in Tuesday morning, but I don't know if I'll include all, include all that yet. I guess you'll know if you watch the rest of this video. So let's get started. Finally got a chance to hit the Daiso. It's only been a couple of years uh, since I've been to a Daiso store, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I felt like a kid in a candy shop. I found so many things, but a lot of what I got was bags. Um, and I really don't know why I was so attracted to the bags because I haven't even been in too many swaps or challenges or or gift giving or or even doing uh, giveaways on my channel I've just been working and dealing with health and issues and family crisis and and things like that and trying to get in some family time so um, when it comes to packaging things I really haven't done too much however I have plans to try to do some things and make some some product and maybe uh, sell it so I did get a lot of packaging in this haul but we'll start with this gift wrap paper uh, this is not your typical gift wrapping paper these this is from uh, Daiso of course and it says that, that it's non-woven cloth um, did I open this one I, I opened one of them and used a piece of it out but you can see that it's it's very sheer you can see right through that and it feels like cloth you know it does feel like cloth it doesn't feel like paper so I think this is some awesome stuff and uh, this pattern was lacy and cute so I thought that I would get that and with the Daiso stores most product there is like a dollar fifty uh, unless otherwise priced but I think the highest product I saw was eight dollars in there and I did not purchase that <laughs> I tried to stay in my dollar fifty <laughs> just because I drove David absolutely mad but he, he was excited for me to be in the Daiso store because uh, he knew I hadn't been in a while and he's like what did you spend like eighty three dollars I'm like yeah sure <laughs> times two or more <laughs> he about had a heart attack but he let me, he forgave me because he knows that I have not been able to go to the craft stores or anything like that. But especially a Daiso. Um, so this is another, this is like a gray lacy. It's, it's very much like that pink one I just showed you. But you can see once again how sheer that is. You can read right through it. So I love this stuff and it, I think it'll be great for packaging products. Or maybe I can come up with something else to use it for. Maybe some kind of fabric paper or something. That would be cool too. A fabric cover. And I love this one. This is also the wrapping paper. And uh, it's bonjour. I guess it's Francais. So this was some really cute gift wrapping paper. 
and you can see the little picture that they actually use this particular let me zoom in on that to actually wrap a gift that looks like it must be a white box because this stuff again is see-through and you know what since I've got the zoom in let me show you that lace now you can see it there you go it's a beautiful lace wrapping paper or cloth I should say non-woven cloth printed non-woven cloth wrapping sheet so uh, that one's pretty cool too so I love it okay I think I grabbed five different ones and this one might be the one that yes I used this one this one know what it is it's just some writing it looks antique ish to me I don't know what it says but it's uh, yeah I don't know like it might be in a different language if you can read that or it might be Italian or something I'm not sure but it's nevertheless it's super cute and uh, vintagey so I'm loving that. I did use some of that already. So well, I can't keep, oops, hold on. Let me fix my camera. I knocked it off its axis. <laughs> this one is like doilies or something. Um, yeah, so you can see the picture. Again, let me zoom. That looks like doilies. And just super, super cute paper loving it so if you can get to a Daiso that's exactly what you can expect things like this and I actually had about a half a buggy more that I did not purchase so that was hard to let go of I'm just saying but I had to I was already like out there I was so excited um let me get I should have prepared hold on. it's been about a couple of weeks since I've been to the store already so I don't even remember what I have so I'm just gonna delve into this big huge bag everything's in a mess so there's nothing in an order but these are super super cute they're like poker word cards um, I haven't even opened to see really what they look like oh oh they're blank see I didn't even know that See, I bought them because I love cards. I've always loved cards. My family grew up playing poker <laughs> of any kind of card. So, pick a card for today. Okay, so I guess what you do is you put words on here. I've, I've never seen anything like I just grabbed them because I thought they were full of pictures like this. But, apparently, they're pretty much self-made little tags. So, I mean, word cords, playing cards, two pieces. I guess I'll have to see how these, I guess I can use them however I want to. I'll come up with something creative. I guess, make, you know, I might use these as my paint swatches or something. Hmm. I don't know. It, it feels like good card stock. Yeah, they're kind of smooth surfaced. I don't know. It says word cards, so, you know, whatever. I got them because they had cards on them. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'll probably recycle these bags, too, because I tried to do that. When I package something, I will take this bag unless I tear it, which I try not to do, and save those and recycle them. But I did find stickers, stickers, stickers. Um... And I tried to get two of each of these, but aren't they cute? Super, super, duper, duper, super, duper cute. And I thought these might be cool to, um, I got these because I thought they <clears throat> might be cool to do on some altered dominoes. And I've got those little baby dominoes. So, and I've got baby cards and I thought it would be cute to add to my altered dominoes in the future that was why I kind of got those but since they had card everything they even have the, the masking tape card and <laughs> I love it I mean 
I guess it's the same as the washi tape. I guess I'm going to be able to get that open because I want you to see it. This video is probably going to be a little bit long at this point. Hold okay, so <laughs> it's cute. It's got kitty cats and zebras and crowns and cards and doggies. <laughs> says good. So yeah, this this will be cute. I think I got two of these. I think. Okay, so these are die cut clips with a paper box. So it's a little bit bigger than your normal match box, but I think that'll be super cute. And these are super cute. Okay, so these are paper clips. Look. <laughs> That is too cute. They're die cut clips. They're little plastic clips. And they're everything that's the same little images that you get on the washi tape or the masking tape. The crown, hearts, but the key cats. Aww. So stinking cute. So I'll have to do something fun with these. But it also came with this little box. So. It says pick a card for today and you know it's already decorated for you really I mean I don't know what more you could do with that other than maybe the inside which I'll probably do so I'm just gonna stick those little bad boys in there let's see what's next I went ahead and tried to pull out what I could find of the card stocks here so these are called sticker flakes here and there's 48 pieces and it looks like they're little stickers. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. So I'll open that in a minute. Uh, it's another one of those boxes. I got. I tried to get two of each, I think. Uh, but I was in such a hurry and I started putting stuff back. So I don't know what I kept and what I didn't. Um, okay, so then there's these bags. Little zipper bags those are cool pack a card for today so these will be great if I do some swaps or gift giving or something like that uh, maybe I can do some kind of a challenge that will revolve around cards and I don't know we'll see what comes about with these and these are sticky notepads in a little slider case so those are super cute so and there's soft pastel colors as well And I did get the two sticker packs, so they're just stickers, the same little prints, so I'm not going to take them out. And then I found these little hearts that were nail art, again, thinking dominoes. And it, I thought they were spades, so I think that's why I grabbed them, but still. <laughs> um, and then these are mini letter uh, sets, so it comes with your card your envelope and some kind of a maybe some stickers yeah to close the letter the envelope with so those are cute so it looks like I love the A on that so um, let me just take this one out let's see how many we've got the kitty cat two of the kitties oh three of the kitties four of the kitties okay so it's all the kitty I thought that it would be all of the different ones that I was seeing. But I guess like any thank you card, these are paper. So these would be kind of cool to copy. And they're blank on the back. These would be cute little beginner ACT cards too, I think. I think they might be the size. I don't have my ruler out. Let's see. If you fold it in half. Which I'm not going to do. Two and a, if I go by the crease, it's two and a quarter by three and one eighth, one sixteenth, three and three sixteenths. So I don't know what the official size is. I thought it was two and a half by three and a half for uh, ACTs. I don't know. But these, oh, these are, these are uh, little, oh, look, they're vellum envelopes. 
I thought at first they were um, the parchment paper or the deli paper or the, uh, I can't think, gla glassine envelopes. But this feels like a parchment paper to me. So these are parch, not parchment, but uh, man, I cannot think or talk. Anyway, they're see-through. <laughs> they're see-through. So you would see that. You would see that in the front. Oh, those are cute. See, you can see the kitty through it. Vellum. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> My brain. I'm tired. It's late. I've been working. Come out of the house exhausted and been working exhaustingly. So, uh, but there you go. This is for you, for you, for you, for you, and then a crown. So you get stickers with that. So that is super cute. I love it. Okay. I mean, I just grabbed you guys. I didn't know what I was doing. Here is another one of these. Pick a card. The word card. I don't know what you do with a word card. I guess you put a word on it. Maybe like a prompt card or something. And some more masking tape. So I'm going to put this little bit up. I'll be right back. Okay, I pulled some stuff out. Again, these are stickers. Uh, they're calling these index seals. But... I looked at these and again I was thinking my dominoes um, or something tiny or tiny journals or whatever that I could use there's six sheets of these I don't know if they're any different than what I'm seeing up the front but it's definitely a summer scape and that was where my mind was was doing something summery but I haven't had a chance to get to that uh, here's some baby pandas and some bamboo it's super super cute let me just zoom in. And that way, you, let me just show you these seascapes again so that you can get a better view. Cute. And then the pandas, which are adorable. I mean, you could probably even use these on your nails if you wanted to, but I look at this for tiny projects, baby projects dominoes in particular or tin uh, little altar tin cans or something these are little dogs pooches pooches um i think i've got cats <laughs> they're just super duper cute dugger duggers and i think i got rabbits yep there's rabbits <laughs> there's rabbits super cute I don't know if I'm what's going on here but my lighting I've got two lamps on it just looks bad I don't know what's going on and birdies I got birdies and I think I doubled the birds just because they're look how tiny they are they're teeny tiny and how cute would that be on some dominoes or baby journals or something super duper cute oh i tripled the birds oh i must have really liked the birds uh and here's some coffee and pizza and birthday cake and movie stuff and scissors and perfume and bling bling it's just super duper cute it's just got a variety of little bows glasses necklaces i mean just cute 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 little tiny stickers <clears throat> and you can see how little they are i mean just little bitty itty bitty cute love them and i found these uh flake stickers and i will just turn these over because they're different kinds of flowers let me zoom in here there we go that's better so, these are Cherry Blossom Landscapes stickers. Um, this one here, Message Fleet Sticker Animals. Okay. See, I just grabbed, I don't even know. Here's some doggies. Guess I was on an animal fix. <laughs> but they're cute. So, these are sticker flakes. Um, I did find some antique double clips. I guess I can back back out now a little bit. I got these. 
I also got some spring clips. There was eight of them. I don't know what size these are, but probably come up with some projects for some of those. Oh, there's a big one in there too, isn't there? I thought they was. Mm, are they different sizes? I thought they were all just little ones. Okay. No, oh, they're just clipped together. Okay, my bad. Now I look like a dodo. Dodo. It's all right. I'm a dodo. I'll admit it. And these are a little... I thought these were interesting because I got these in the um, little section of the uh, the little porcelain bowls. The tea and the, sh the, the little... Uh, chopsticks areas and the little special little porcelain bowls and these are little coaster sets and they're reversible so you could use either side and I've never known coasters to come in threes but these comes in these come in threes but um, it's super cute nevertheless this has got a little turtle and, and lily leaves of some sort and then it's just plain burlapy looking on the back and then this one is a green tone, like a seafoam green, kind of like the color of my little thing here. 10 by 10 centimeters, but it looks more blue on the back, like a powder blue. Huh. Okay, so I thought those would be cool for some projects of some sort. I don't know what, but they were interesting, so I grabbed them. And washi, 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 washi here, washi there, washi do this, washi do that, <laughs> washi. <laughs> uh, let me zoom in. We have uh, masking tape, cherry blossom, yet again, two different kinds. Uh, deep purple, and then some itty bitty flowers. Yeah. And then this one, masking tape. And I believe these are the ones, the little petals come apart. But I don't know for sure. No, no, not this one. I think this one's just a solid. This one's just a solid picture, but it's cute nevertheless. And I really, really, really loved these. Uh, these are lace border stickers. Look at that. I had more, but I had I was like overkill. But uh, I got I got them in white, and then I got some in peach. Those are the only two colors they had, but I thought they were cool nevertheless. Because if I need to, I can always paint that the color that I want. Oops! Get in frame, Steph. Get in frame. Back out. Back out. So, I thought these were super cute little washies. Washi do this and washi do that. <laughs> I'm a goofball, I know. But, love, loving the Daiso store. Ah. Um, I know I got some other napkins, but I thought this was super cool. Song, uh, music napkins. Little music notes. Um, I don't know how many, how many's in here. 30, 30 pieces. So not bad for a buck fifty, you guys. And I don't know why, but I, I felt like I needed this little mini vice. I'm always doing little wood stuff, so uh, I don't think it's strong enough to hold my camera because I have one like this in silver at home that holds my my, uh, my I say my camera, my my phone on my selfie stick. You know, it just sticks down, and I stick the selfie stick in the vice grip, and there's my there's my self-made camera. Uh, and black glue sticks. What? I have never seen black glue sticks. So, to me, this is a newbie for me. Uh, but this is interesting. And I had to have them. I've never seen them. So, I grabbed three uh, packets of them. And let's see what else is in the bag. OMG Walla <laughs> Alcohol markers Now I don't know How good these are But they have both The fine tip barrel And the broad tip 
uh, barrel and uh, broad tip and the fine tip and they are one point millimeter and seven point millimeter and I got every color that they had because for alcohol markers that is El Cheapo Amigo and they came in a packet of two so I made sure I needed alcohol markers of different colors I have uh, a set from Janie uh, trucker Janie that she gave me of the um, what brand was it I can't even think but she gave me a set there's a video that has her haul in it or her her uh, friend mail and I was it was 24 colors um, I think it was Spectrum Noir that's what they were Spectrum Noir see I knew I'd remember eventually but these are called fluently and so I am curious to see how well these do so I got every color they had they were two in a pack so I got a couple of these uh, gray tones dark gray cool gray and I've been wanting a set of grays and alcohols for my drawings so I am looking so forward to doing a swatch on these and I'll let you guys know how that goes in a video when I test these little puppies out and see how good they are I hope they're juicy I hope they're good we will find out eventually and while I was there they also had these calligraphy markers okay um, so I grabbed what they had in those colors because this girl needs to work on some calligraphy I haven't done calligraphy since what I was in school so it's like <laughs> yeah hello we get to start from a b c one two three so yeah from the beginning <laughs> so i got all the colors they had of the calligraphy and they also are dual tipped and i believe one is the broad and one is the brush so i will be doing a video on those as well and then just because i could they had bum, 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 some calligraphy brushes so I'm super stoked to have these big giant calligraphy brushes now um, uh, Stephanie does not write in you know Chinese or Japanese or or even Stephanie's at this point but I thought they would be cool for my watercolors so that's why I got them because they're gonna be great for my watercolors um, they did have the calligraphy ink but those were some of the items that I let go back to the store because <laughs> I was beyond my means I'm just telling you it was bad it was so bad okay let's see what else we can come up with found my other napkins you know I, I showed you a minute ago the music napkins well these are newspaper clipping napkins so I thought those are super cool and I got them in an antique color and the regular news uh, print color and these were super cool because they're uh, foreign stamps and you know you could just I, I'm, I'm gonna be cutting these little bad boys out for sure that's just awesome so you know stamp napkins <laughs> cool all right so let's get to El Di Pepel um this is well here we go 20 sheets there's five different oh there's four patterns five sheets so I actually already used a couple of these in this pack um, for a gift but I'm not going to take them out you can see the pattern very uh, distinctively when I zoom in like that and take the glare off they're super super duper cute and I think I got two of those so uh, they're like origami papers um, let's see yep I got two because there's the other one and then I got let's 
see. These are super duper cool. Let me pull these back. Uh, again, these are handmade paper. These are handmade paper, and there's 16 sheets. And there's one sheet. They're all different. They're all different. Um, I would take them out, but it might take a while. And this video is already going to be so long. But I love them. You can see that pattern on the first one. So I don't even know what the rest of the patterns look like. But let me see if I can zoom in and show you the pattern at least. And these are indeed handmade. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, these are super cool. I can't wait to look at the rest of them. Um, and when I see, when I mess with them, you'll see it too. Uh, here's a, a nice pack of... Uh, I think this has got four designs, 15 sheets, so there's 60 papers in here. And apparently they're printed on one side and and solid on the back side, so that's cool. Those are so pretty. And there's 60 sheets of those, and it does say uh, double-sided side, um Chiogami paper. Now, I do not know. I have no clue what a Chiogami paper is. Don't even get me to line. But you can see I've already delved into this a little bit also. I used uh, one of those. I don't know if I got more than that. I don't remember. We'll find out when I continue through the bag. But I thought this is also round Chiogami paper and it's of the planet Earth. Woo! I love it. Oh, it's also Jupiter and the Moon. So there's three designs. There's five sheets, and with a total of 15 sheets. So that is super cool. I love that. Aren't they cool? I love Daiso. Get to your local Daiso store. I don't know about an online shop. Never looked at them for online. Uh, here is a beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty. This is a foil print. Uh, Chiogami. I don't know what Chiogami. I know what Origami is, but I don't know what Chiogami is. But in nevertheless, let me zoom in on uh, these people. I'm showing you Japanese and I'm speaking French. <laughs> what a dodo. But it's almost, um, it's not just foil, but it's like uh, that. Uh, why can't my brain work? I, it, it, you know what this is. I, My brain just don't want to work. I guess I'm just super duper tired. And I keep forgetting that word. And I just did some paper clips using that uh, tape. I mean, I know it says foil and all. But it's, um, let me see if it tells me. Oh, there's seven designs. Look at that. Let's just look at designs for a minute. While my brain tries to process what I'm trying to say. Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> it's still not there. <laughs> oh, but look, we have some beautiful pattern paper here. And here are the designs. Little butterflies, blossoms, um, leaves, and the back black ground with the flowers. Very, very pretty. Um, five designs, two of each, in a total of ten papers. Yep. So cool. I love their papers. And we have uh, four designs, 25 a piece, making it a hundred sheets. I uh, don't remember if I delved into any of these yet. I don't think I have. Um, but these are the designs. Okay, it's just better for me to do that. Beautiful. Different. Loving it. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have any other papers. Uh, but 
we're going to get into some other stuff here. So let me just move this aside. I'm running out of space in here. So here is lovingly yours. I send my special love to you. These are paper bags. They're bags with a window. And there's five pieces in here. So here are the stickers for you, for you, for you. And it's got these gorgeous ornate hearts. And this is the pattern of the bag. But I'm loving it. It's got an open window so you can actually see inside of there. Here is a pink one. Same thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Got the window five pieces here is let me back this out lovingly yours these are six piece gift bags it's got the black ribbons for the closures at the top but I will probably tape them down but they've got beautiful bows I mean just super duper cute I don't know if you can see that pattern but they're little diamond shaped patterns. And then this one's got some ornate patterns to it. And this is seven pieces. This is a handle bag. Sorry, my truck's on, so it shakes. And when I'm close up, it really messes it up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I believe they're printed with lovingly yours. I send my special love to you. But nevertheless, still cute gift bags. I couldn't pass this up. Um, animal life. Oh, I just, isn't that just adorable, these birds? Oh, so cute. It says, this life, this life is worth living. We can say since it is what we make it. Yes, it is what we make it. So these are zip bag. Uh, birds, I don't, eight pieces, eight bags, and I couldn't pass them up. And I don't know why they're showing these clips unless they're inside of there, but I don't feel anything. I don't know why they're showing that. Oh, found them more paper, more paper. This is a travel paper, a uh, foil print. This, see that's, I see that's regular foil print there. And they've got all these different designs. Let me just try to blow that up even more so. Kind of hard to see, but they're super busy for sure. But they're things like this. Maybe I can get a better view here. Travel. It looks like all kinds of travel tickets and tags and stuff like that. So, there's seven designs and two sheets apiece. Okay, let me back out. Let's see. I told you I got a lot of bags. So, here we go. I thought these were super cute. There's only two bags in here, but it's that same kind of gift wrap paper. And these actually have the drawstrings. I don't know, okay, it says drawstring plastic bag with bottom gusset. Whatever a gusset is, don't even get me the line. I do not know these words. <laughs> Cause I gusset, I just don't know. <laughs> it's about as good as it gets. I guess it. Oh, and look at this one. This one is gorgeous. It's got the silver keys and the print. And these are bags. And it looks like it's got tags. There's four of these in the bag. Super duper cute. They're meant for tying up. Did I get more than one of those? I don't know, but here is 
uh, it's, this looks like lace, but they are fully plastic. Can you see the pattern? It's a lace pattern. There you go. Beautiful lace pattern bags. Even great for projects, I'm sure. I don't know what you could do with that, but uh, you might could do something. Being plastic, frost plastic is what it says. This is the same thing. This is the same pattern that's on this cream colored, but I got it in pink. Um, oh, and I got some, looks like I got some mermaid style paper. It says Wonderful Mermaid Palace, but it just looks like seashells. And these are bags, and there's three of one size and two of another. So, three of the big ones, two of the little ones. Mermaid's Wonderful Palace. <laughs> That's cute. Um, didn't realize that. I just saw the seashells. And another one of these papers. So I got two of those. And then I've got this one, which is the same as that pink one I showed you a minute ago. That real ornate bag. Uh, I even got a little one of purple in purple. And then... A little one in pink with the black bows back there and then these are itty bitty tiny ones there's 26 bags in here super duper cute okay we're getting down to the bottom of the Daiso bag that I think I picked up at the dollar store I needed some more Gansas well I say I needed them. I got them. <laughs> um, okay, so here is another purple little bag. And I don't know what this one is. Bonnet. Okay, so this is another Frenchie stop bag. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. It's got light print on one side and then a gold print let me just pull this out a second hang on i lost footage so i already did the whole rest of the bag so i really don't know where i'm at but i'm gonna go ahead i know i ended with this one this was a little bag that has this uh frenchy style Bonnet or whatever it's got the script white script on one side and the gold sepia tones on the other side and it's just a little narrow bag uh, there you go so you can see cute 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 i think this will be great for my let's talk card giveaways probably use some of those um, and I don't know if I showed you these, but these are little stickers that say, especially for you, just for you, and thank you, and uh, this is all I got of them, but uh, there were more, and that's just what I grabbed. I grabbed so many already, so, um, because I have lots of stuff to give away um, on my Let's Talk channel, um, and eventually back on the Roland Studio. I gotta get to my thousand, guys. Yeah, help a sister out. Uh, I also picked up these bags, and I don't think I, I think, like I said, I don't know where I left off, but I don't think I got to show you guys these. Um, A6, B6, B7, A5, sounds like bingo, B5. <laughs> these are like clear pockets, and I figured they'd be great gift bags uh, that I could just fold over and put the thank yous on. So that's what I got there. And then, uh, again, I don't know what you saw, but I had found also when I was showing you all the cards, the pick a card for today, these little pocket envelopes are super cute, super cool. I got two of them, so I wanted to show you those. And actually, like I said, I threw a bunch of stuff back because I had this paper. It is a product 
for Daiso Japan, and it is calligraphy paper. It's made in Japan. It is quite, uh, I pulled a piece out on the last video, uh, and it's quite sturdy. It's almost rice paper-like, but it's, I don't know if it is or isn't. It's got a texture to it, and I showed you last time, or the other part of the video that crashed on me, but it does have a texture to it. Um, but this is official Japanese calligraphy paper. This side's smooth, and this side is got some texture to it. And uh, this is what they use, at least what I saw in this department. They had the calligraphy pens, the, the brushes, and the, the ink that they use. And I almost bought that, but I put it back. I put it back. But I... Um, I saw this paper and they also had the bamboo scrolls. I didn't get any of the scrolls because, you know, I, I, don't, I don't speak Chinese, Japanese, I just speak Stephanese, so Stephanese probably wouldn't uh, do the Japanese people any justice trying to put it on some bamboo scroll, but I think these will be great for paper projects and maybe... Uh, some painting. I really look forward to checking these out. So I'm excited about this paper. Uh, it's. I'm trying not to wrinkle it, but I might have to, you know, par for the course that one sacrifice that one piece of paper because it's not going in there right. So I got this off-white, and this one's. It's called Natural Color. It's a heavyweight. There's 60 sheets, and this one is white, and it's regular thickness. And there's a hundred sheets to this one, but it's the same kind of texture. Super, super, well, maybe a little bit different. I, I don't know. It's just, it's handmade. I, it's, it's awesome paper, and I can't wait to, to play around with that. And I also showed these are, um, they're desk pads with measuring grids. And I was thinking of trying to make my own Misty and using this as the bottom. I have made my own stamp uh, thing with a, a clipboard, but I've yet to use it. But, you know, got too much going on, too many projects, can't get to the ones I think about. And I thought this was kind of cool. It's a B5 card case. It's a hard card case. Uh, I don't really know why I got it, I guess because it was different. So I made sure I got it. So I thought it was kind of cool. I only got one. I probably should have got at least a couple, but I only got one. Okay, I'll just fix that later. And then I got some baseball cards because these trading cards are expensive. Well, I got these for a buck fifty, so you know, I'll probably use those for some ACTs that I've never made. I plan on making some ACTs, and I'm gonna hold on to this for those. And then here's an A4. Uh, this is a magnet card case so it shows you right here you just put your paper up and a magnet on it I guess and it just, I thought these would be good for dies I don't have very many dies anyway so this would probably fit all the dies that I have because <laughs> my machine was stolen however I did purchase a small uh, cuddle bug from Janie so I've yet to use it and then this is five B4 folders. They're 15 by 10 inches. And they got the little pocket, you know, right here. So I thought these would be great for my Japanese paper projects, I guess, to hold on to them in there. So just a little safety pocket. And I don't know, I don't think I showed you what, in the original video I did show you, but I don't think it was in the first part of the video. Um, wow. <laughs> what I have in here, I'll just show you these first, are the, uh, oops, that's not it, the Japanese bamboo brushes. This is the calligraphy brushes. Um, but I'm going to probably use them in my watercolor. <laughs> but these are super cool, and I couldn't pass them up quite large, but, uh, I want to check them out and see how they do with my watercoloring. I think it'll be a lot of fun. 
and yes I do need to get back to to doing some calligraphy I haven't done it in years and uh, I'm probably way bad off I never was really all that good to begin with so yeah I'm gonna have to reteach myself some calligraphy so I got the uh, calligraphy pens here uh, they're marker pens the calligraphy marker pens they've got the um, they've got the brush barrel bullet you know the brush tip and the, the flat tip here and uh, I got all the colors that they had and they came two to a pack and since they were a dollar fifty that's not a bad deal so I hope they're not dried out I hope they're good and juicy uh, so I'll be checking these out soon and then and then and then and then since my alcohol markers were stolen in my truck I have not replaced them however I do have a 24 set of Spectrum Nora Nor Nora 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 I don't know how to say it properly so you just have to forgive me doing the uh, old Texas draw butcher on it and uh, but I got every color they had they again were two to a pack so I got them all I got them all um, so I hope these are called fluently I'm hoping that they're good I don't know we'll find out you know uh, I'll check out blending and and all that with them later but uh, I mean, I got every color that they had, and I got multiple grays and different gray tones, which is cool for shading. And, um, yeah, so there you go. This was my complete Daiso haul. This is a very long video. Uh, I tried to make this part short since I've had to re record it. I hope I didn't miss anything when. I lost footage, so I don't know what I missed and what I didn't, but I think I got it all uh, that I bought other than these. Um, these are uh, these are um, potpourri, and they were just so pretty, and they actually smell super good. Uh, so I am going to enjoy having these uh, potpourri. This is Lavender and this is Rose Kiss. And I may be using some of these things in some of my mixed media. Because they're Pertamus. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But for now, these are awesome. So I'm going to let this be the end of this Daiso haul. And um, I've got more videos to try to get underway. So just bear with me stay tuned and we'll see you guys later and thank you for joining me stephanie pettis here at the rolling studio please don't forget to subscribe ring that bell and that way you get all my notifications and future videos and future projects and i'm going to get back to doing the um the dollar tree domes and then i'm going to start a series i think on paper crafting I think like making your homemade paper but it's going to be like a faux paper and finish a couple of projects like the Steph scrolls that I keep promising <laughs> so I'll probably have to do a whole fresh video on that but or link it either way you guys I appreciate you being here please comment let me know what you think and don't forget to join the out of the box creations a rolling studio affiliate Facebook group a mouthful I know but the links will be in the description below and uh, if there's anything else you'll be at the end of this screen and don't forget to check out all my links below okay you guys have a blessed day and oh my gosh Daiso bye Why are you still here, lurker?